Hey, I did call it. DLC is going to be getting more disgusting from the looks of it. Well, what's up? It's True Kings then. And we'll, today we're going to be talking about Persona 3 Reload. Uh, if you see my last video where I was talking about like DLC pricing and stuff, this isn't specifically about pricing. This is just the idea of what the fuck they're doing now. So, Persona 3 Reload just came out. Don't get me wrong, it's a big redo of the series. Like, they're, like it looks so much better than it used to. It has like that Persona 5 kind of look to it. But, there's one thing. It's a PS2 game that has DLC. Huh? It's a remake of a PS2 game for PS5 and PS4. But, it has DLC. How does that make sense? It doesn't. I don't understand why games are doing this. I know Call of Duty does the same shit. I'm not a big fan of when they did it either. But why are we remaking games? Why are we making games from way back in the day before DLC exists and adding DLC to them? Ah, it's been pissing me off. I'm not gonna lie. And then, that's, that's not even the only problem. It's the fact, like, I don't think Reload has any yet. But there's something in Persona 3 FES called The Answer. And it's looking like that's going to be DLC later on. And this is something old too. This is something from like the remake. The uh, um, initial, I guess, remake, expansion, whatever you want to call it. It's like the Persona 4 Golden for Persona 3. And the Persona 5 Royal. It's basically that thing. It's basically whatever that is for those games, if you want to call them. Revamps, I guess. This is an older version. This is this is the updated version, I guess I should say, of Persona 3. And there was special content in that game that wasn't in the original version of the game. Called The Answer. Now, it's looking like that content is going to be charged as DLC. How in the fuck is this okay? How are we taking content away from... How are we going to have a final version? Like, I don't understand that. Let's use Smash Bros. for an example of... How you should do some of this stuff. Smash Bros. changes shit out. Like modes and stuff. There's certain modes that don't come out. Like subspace got downgraded. <laughs> we lost subspace emissary. But Smash Bros. is always changing modes and shit. From the beginning. But I want to use the characters once DLC became a thing. So we, if you don't know Smash Bros. DLC started in Wii U slash 3DS. And the way it worked is once you bought a character. Of course you kept them. But even across the new games, they didn't make you rebuy characters. I think the only time you technically had to rebuy somebody is probably... I don't even know if you had to pay for him. I know he was DLC. I don't know if he was free or not. I think you had to buy Mewtwo, maybe? In Wii U and 3DS? Maybe. I can't remember exactly how that worked. I don't think Mewtwo was in the game at launch, though, if I remember correctly. But every other time, if you bought a character, that was it. Like, and that's dealing with licensing. That's dealing with bigger licensing issues, but you're dealing with other companies with a lot of crossover characters. So, if you bought Cloud in Wii U, when the next game comes out, since Cloud was already in the game, instead of making you pay for Cloud again, he's just unlocked for free for everybody. Whether you unlock him through the story, or you just um, play the game enough and get him, whatever you do, you're going to have that character. And the same thing goes for everybody else. It's... So dumb. Like, every Wii U character that was there, you got them already. The only thing you pay for is for new characters, which I'm okay with. That makes sense. Especially when it comes to crossover stuff, because it, it costs more money since you gotta go ahead and get licensing. And then sometimes it's sold limited time type of shit. If they don't renew the license, that's it. That's why Jump Force died. Well, Jump Force died for a lot of other reasons, but that's besides the point. <laughs> That's why it's like dead. That like you can't even. As far as I know, you can't buy Jump Force anymore. I think it's off the store. You can't get the DLC or anything like that. But that's how DLC should be done. Once I buy it, if you're gonna make a sequel that's basically just an update, give me my stuff back. <laughs> and this is more egregious because this is a one-to-one -one remake. Basically, this is let's remake the game. Let's make it look better. <laughs> Let's add a few things and call it a day. But don't take shit away and then sell it to me later. If anything, if you didn't have time to make it, it should come out as a free update. Now, if the answer is gonna, if I'm if I'm wrong and the answer doesn't come out, if y'all want, I can make an apology now or say I was wrong. But from the looks of things, 
it ain't looking good. And either way, they have DLC personas. I'm like, why is there DLC personas in this damn game that... Why is there DLC in general? Why is there DLC in this game that shouldn't have DLC? Because if it's a real remake, why is it not remade with what was going on at that time? It's, I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. Remakes, remasters, all this shit. I can't, bruh. Like... It's kind of like, actually, let's look at a comparison. Uh, I don't like using Borderlands all the time, but use, we could have done that with Borderlands Game of the Year Edition. Game of the Year Edition came out, update the textures, make the game look better. Like, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, the graphics basically look like Borderlands 2. They definitely updated a lot of it. And I'm playing on PS4. I'm playing on probably the worst hardware it's on. And that game looks better. Not better. It looks the same as Borderlands 2 slash... Um, the pre-sequel, I would personally say it looks better. That's my opinion. But, the main important thing about it is it came with all the DLC that was in the series. So, all four DLCs you get. And then some extra stuff that wasn't there for, like, special heads and shit like that. I think they weren't in the original game. Now, that's cool as fuck. I like that. Now, how would you feel if they didn't... How would you feel if when they released that, they didn't give you the DLC, and they made you pay for it? Especially, and especially if you bought it before. How would you feel about that? The only time buy, rebuying the same DLC is okay, honestly, is when your ass is going to a different platform. Not different. I shouldn't even say different platform. I should say different general. I can't. I should say yeah. I should say different platform, like between companies. Like if I'm going for Xbox One. If I go from Xbox One to a Series S or whatever, I shouldn't have to buy the DLC again. It should be linked to my account, obviously. But if I'm going to a PlayStation to Xbox, it makes sense. Do I have to buy it again? It's a different platform. But it's so dumb that it works like this. I'm kind of out of it. Like, I just get more upset as I look at this stuff. I find positivity, well, don't worry, I always sound upset in these videos, like completely, like, no hope, but some indie games hit, I got some games I want to try, um, I'm finishing up some Borderlands 2 shit, but I'm moving on to Ghost of Tsushima, obviously, I'm going to be trying that out, since it's on PlayStation Plus, I didn't buy it, I have PlayStation Extra or whatever, so I'll try it out on there and see how I feel, because it's hard to find single player games for me, so maybe that one will work. If not, maybe I'll try Final Fantasy X. I don't know. But, this DLC shit gotta stop. Like, how about that? I think Final Fantasy X came with everything. I don't think they make you buy, like, all the little expansion things separate, like Eternal Calm and all this shit. But, it's whatever. It sucks, but it is what it is. But, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video there. Thank y'all for watching this. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like or a sub. But, I'll be talking about shit like anything I see that's bull that interests me I'll talk about or any type of video um, that I think is going to be interesting I'll talk about. I'm in the middle of making the Borderlands 2 top 5 but I don't know when I'll be able to get that out because that's more of a longer project so I'll be putting out things like this that make sense in the meantime only if they make sense to me but that's it. It's True King then and we out this bitch.